Hi guys, this is video two, uh, still the first binder. Uh, thank you very much for watching my first video if you did. As I was saying, I am a collector now, uh, just for the fun of it, you know. Um, check out my first video that I made. I'm, I'm reviewing three of my binders that I have. Um, those couple two games that I bought, uh, everything that I bought was was for my girlfriend, and she's the one that bought me this card actually. I like RCS, like I said, RCS. Uh, she bought me this card, and I love her for it. Um, I thought it was really special, really cool. Uh, I am open for for trades. If you guys want to trade, or if you guys want to send some cards over for like a little raffle thing that I want to make and um, if you guys want to send some cards my way because you no longer want them or need them oh yeah this is uh, special for me too it was a Game Boy carrying case with a little Pikachu on it and a Pokeball <laughs> so hopefully I can finish off this binder in this video I got some hollows in here also, and um, the swan is hollow, I think. Let's see if it is. Yeah, she's hollow. And like I said, the red sharpie marks are not are not actually on the card. It's actually just in the plastic uh, cover of the binder of the pages. Uh, I don't know if you guys are interested in any of these cards and want to are open for a trade. Scyther used to be my favorite growing up. When they first came out, I thought he was really cool. This is from the Black and White series. I think one thing that is undervalued a lot that I like are these um, trainer cards or any kind of support card. Um they're really undervalued and I know people don't like them and I, I like them especially if they're like a rare supporter card I, I don't know it's just my thing I like them a lot that's Latias Heatran let's see if I can focus on Heatran Heatran he's pretty cool yeah so I'm a big fan of, of these Pokemon cards Especially if they're like the older ones. If the little bottom of the card, if I can make it focus here. If it says, uh, this is 2009 Pokemon slash Nintendo. Um, the earlier cards have uh, 98, 99. Those are the older ones that I really like. Kind of reminds me of when they first came out. When I first bought my first booster pack. When they first came out at Toys R Us. I'm not promoting Toys R Us or anything. I... That's just like, that was close to my job, and I was still young, I think I was like 17. And I got out of work, and I went to a, a Toys R Us, and I, I, as soon as I walked in the door, they were to the, to the left of me, and I thought the packaging was interesting, so I ended up buying it. My, that was my first time I ever bought any kind of trading card and I really liked the design compared to these cards that are a lot newer the, the those were a lot more plainer uh, a lot more simpler but it still the artwork interests me because I was also getting into anime and I re and I was an artist so I was really getting into the the whole anime art style and I thought these cards from Japan are are really cool so I just started buying them just to just to buy them just because I thought they were cool while everybody else was playing Magic the Gathering I was collecting these cards and then after collecting them so much I decided to start playing with my duplicates because I didn't want to really use the this, the ones that I had so I played with the duplicates 
and I ended up giving away my hollow Charizard from I think it was the alpha set like the very first set that came out and so I really missed that Charizard hollow first edition card that I had and the prices that they have for eBay for it are way too high because they actually made a lot of Charizard hollow cards and they ch I saw somebody selling them for like a thousand dollars for that hollow hollow card and honestly I was doing some research and it's not even worth that much um there is this card called the um it, it's a Raichu uh that's there was only 50 in that they actually printed or misprinted and that card I believe in my opinion is worth a lot more than that Charizard hollow card um, let, let me actually know if you guys have that hollow Charizard card because I would actually want to know from you guys if you guys actually have it and what your opinion on it is see if um, see what you guys think about the outrageous pricing that they have for it because we all know it's not really worth that much you know I think I'm getting into like the is this the 98 99 yeah like this card this is a it's not a first edition from the actual first run but you see that very bottom part it says copyright 95 96 98 I think this is like like one of the um, first one of the first cards that kind of came out that came out um, there's Articuno I think he's a first edition yeah he's a first edition but from the fossil they have that little fossil footprint thing on there I wish I got into this this um, series it's from the Delta series Smoochum I, I like the little baby forms of the Pokemon I think uh, they're real cool yeah this is like the card that I want but on the um, on the left middle center right where it says flame Pokemon length um, right next to that on the left hand side there should be a little first edition mark on there like this Articuno has and that's the card I'd, I'd want I'd really want to have just because um, I'd really really like them and there is no number two at the end where it says his weight 200 pounds there is no number two it's just blank but it has that first edition mark on it and we'll keep going so these cards really bring back a lot of memories and I really want to know what you guys think about them what your opinions are about Pokemon if you're just getting into it or if you guys have been playing for a while or even if you guys um, have an opinion about the um, world championship um, training card battle competitions oh, running on nine minutes and I'm still not done with it probably because I keep talking too much but if you guys want to contact me that'd be cool Okay, well, let me go ahead and make my third video. We'll finish this uh, binder off, you guys. And uh, we'll continue with my second binder. Thanks for watching.